All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Boss Barking Zero, and today we're finally going to be reacting to some of the Dragon Boss Super characters. Starting things off with Kaba over here, Super Saiyan. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to be witnessing his base form, but I think it's more of the super characters from the Tournament of Power Saga. Massive thanks to Uzaru for providing today's clips. I'm sure I have them linked down below in the description. And we are officially one day away to the release of Sparking Zero. I can't wait, man. Literally, I just can't wait. 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow on the 7th of October. It's over. It's literally over. So that was Gallic Rage, I think. The Rush Blast 2. Oh, Gallic Rain. Yeah, the Super Energy Blast Barrage. Pretty cool super attack so far. He has explosive wave as well, which does consume two skill counts. As we all know, characters with explosive waves for blast ones usually kind of skip a tier just because having an evasive like move is always great to have in the arsenal. And Super Gallic Cannon? That was his ultimate attack. Obviously, something similar to Gallic Gun. It's kind of like Kamamaha, where it doesn't matter who's using it. Of course, we're going to have different animation. But the stance, the posture of using the technique is always going to be the same. So, you know, mentor and student over here. Here it is once again. Oh, wait. So, it reverts over to a super attack for his Super Saiyan 2 form. I like that. We got that power increase. And his ultimate, I believe I've seen before, it's called Final Stream. Yo, he really is Vegeta's student. First Gallic Gun, now Final Stream. Do we have any original moves over here, Kaba? <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure we just saw a couple. The final, what is it called? Gallic, the Rush move. I don't necessarily know the Dragon Ball Super characters skill sets just yet. This is my first time reacting to these characters over here. Yeah, so again, I've seen this ultimate final stream. Bandai Namco themselves actually dropped a clip of that. And it's just emphatic, man. Look at the electricity effect from the character model itself. Base form! All right. Oh, you see that? Even his appearance changes, not just the aura or the hair color. Dang, attention to detail. Oh, what was that? Full power, that had to have been full power. Gallic Rage, or no, oh, so Gallic Cannon is a super. But Super Saiyan 1, it's Super Gallic Cannon. And then for Super Saiyan 2, it's Super Gallic Cannon, but as a super attack. Uh, was that high speed rush? I think so. That full power with the electricity fields around the character model, top tier. Nice grab animation there. Oh, let's see this one. The ultimate, for everyone's sake. Da! Ooh! <laughs> Dala going crazy. I will protect everyone. Now we have Kale. Full power charge. Going berserk with the blast ones. Oh, her combos. Did you see that? Wait, she was like boxing. Up close. Doing those heavy punches. Definitely different. I don't think I've seen a combo string like that before. All these characters are unique and have their very own fighting style. That's something we definitely have to appreciate. That very bright lime green aura. Yeah, I think Kale is not necessarily an underrated character because, you know, more people are going to be playing as Gogeta, Vegito, Goku, Vegeta. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am as well, but Kale, I think, is definitely up there. Especially her Super Saiyan form, you know, the perfected state. I think that's a very cool transformation as well. Uh, what was that one? The ultimate, I think it was. We have full power charge and that one going berserk. So we have like two power ups stacked on top of sparking mode. And... Oh, the best transformation. Yeah, this is the transformation I was just talking about. I think this is the cooler one. The Berserk is, you know, epic, but not as awesome as this one, in my personal opinion. Look at that. Even with the original DBZ Broly sound design in the background. So her aura is more of that original golden hue, not necessarily the green. I think the green aura is more for her Berserk form. Nice grab right there. The one, two into the knockback. Is that just like something similar to Big Bang Attack? I can't necessarily see the actual energy orb itself because it was way too close to the opponent. Uh, we have Resistance Blast and Super Explosive Wave for Blast Twos. Wild Sense and another one for her Blast One. Yay! Oh yeah, this is the one where Kefla joins, right? Or Khalifa? Dang. Yeah, this animation is definitely up there. That was cool. 
But I always thought this transformation was stronger than her Berserk form. Right? Because she did transform into her Berserk state first in the anime. And then I thought later on she kind of controlled it. Getting that initial power boost. But for this ultimate attack, she's in her Super Saiyan state and then goes up into Berserk. So it's kind of confusing <laughs> to me. I mean, don't get me wrong. Berserk is probably a lot stronger. So that kind of makes sense when you put it that way. Because, you know, she's not necessarily controlling her power. But what the heck was that? Yo, she staggered the opponent. She was yelling, breaking through the dimension, teleporting through rifts, and then attacking the opponent on the other side. Yo, something similar to Super Boo and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. You know, uh, his attack, Vice Shouts? How when he yells, it stuns the opponent? Berserk Hell literally just did that. All right, rush move. Is this the ultimate? No, this is Blast 2. Oh! All right, so the ground pound technique into the green Rasengan. I like how it, the energy orb goes back. It pushes the opponent and then explodes. That was cool. Gigantic impact. I think that's the one we just saw where she grabs the opponent by the leg and throws him down. The other one was called Gigantic Throw. Oh! Wait, that was a miss. Yeah, that was definitely a miss. So that Blast 1, Berserk Rage, I believe, grants you Sparking Mode. And yeah, I don't necessarily know which attack names goes to which attack animations, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, again, we do definitely have that green aura. There it is! So the attack has to connect, obviously, to activate the secondary animation of the ultimate. Yeah, pretty cool character, but I think uh, base KO and Super Saiyan KO are a lot cooler than the Berserk State. Now we have Khalifa over here, base form. Unfortunately, they decided to skip out on her Super Saiyan State. <laughs> we only have Super Saiyan 2, but I do get why I even explained this a while ago during one of my character prediction videos. She transformed into Super Saiyan in one of the episodes, and then 10 seconds later, she transformed into Super Saiyan 2. And for the tournament power, she mainly just used Super Saiyan 2. So I don't think they necessarily had stuff to work with for her Super Saiyan state. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure they could have found some things, but... Uh, yeah, they just decided to remove that. I'm fine with just base and Super Saiyan 2, though. So we have False Courage, Wild Sense, more of the basic blast ones. Full Power Energy Wave and Super Explosive Wave. So all, all her skill attacks in base form are completely basic. Crush Cannon is like the only unique one. And it's a top tier animation. Oh, we miss swing and a miss. That was point blank. I think the stage. Yo, Vegeta with the disrespect. Vegeta just taunted right there. <laughs> he just said that Khalifa can't aim. Oh, yeah. Super Saiyan 2 definitely superior with that hair model. Again, that surging electricity effect. So now we have full power. I noticed so far all the Universe 6 Saiyans have a full power uh, technique. Right? Kaba had one. Kao had one. Pretty epic. We're going down, you know, the history timeline. Oh, blast. Two attack. That had to have been high power rush. Let's see the energy blast. I think the energy blast was her ultimate attack for base form. And this is her actual ultimate. Oh! Wait! So vice versa! Yo! That was cool! I mean, it makes sense. Fusion! Fusion! Hey! Oh, so... They immediately fused into Super Saiyan Kale. But uh, we got the cut right here. Now, base Khalifa or Kefla. I I'm mixing up the names. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kefla, Kefla. It's Kefla. The fusion of Kale and Khalifa. Uh, but yeah, I really want to know how that works because I believe you can fuse into her base form as well But it just depends on how much energy bars you have. I think oh nice Especially with the animation. It's kind of like she's throwing a baseball. It's called blaster ball <laughs> Very fitting uh, Let's see the gigantic swing. Is that what this is? Yep, there it is tornado spin Oh, that would have been epic if she ended off with a Key Blast throw. We have the red Key Blast attacks. I really do like the characters 
when they have different aura that we don't necessarily see too much of, like the blue, green, and red color schemes, I always think those are epic. Hee -hee. Was that too much? Yo, this is just base form KO as well. Or Kefla. <laughs> Super Zan? Was that Super Zan or Super Zan 2? I'm just getting started. This has to be uh, her first transformation. Time to finish it. So false courage, finish shine. We got the four initial power boosts, top left corner. Three of them are about to run out. Blaster Ball. So Blaster Ball in this game, it's more of just a one energy key blast. I believe in Xenoverse 2, it was more like a scatter shot of energy blasts. Oh, nice startup animation. Oh, with the red key! With the red key! Dude! That's epic how she has different color keys. You know, the green one for her normal flying, charging animations. Um, and her, you know, key auras. But when she powers up to the very limit, like max 100%, it changes to red. That's actually very unique to the character. We don't see that often. The only time that I've seen that before, I believe, was with Super Saiyan Mid Goku. You know, Angry Kamaha. How it goes from blue to orange. Yeah, something similar here, I guess. And her ultimate attack goes crazy. So first, that was the attack she used against US Saiyan Goku. But then, obviously, Goku dodged, bobbed, and weave everything. But yeah, I like how uh, we got that stance and everything. She threw the multiple key orbs. That looks cool. So Super Saiyan 2. Hair model flowing in the wind. Saiyan Spirit. Right there. Perfect timing. And I'm number one. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Oh, wait. Wait, did you see the speed? She did the, the stance. When, when she goes too fast, she, she kind of, you know, like, leans forward. Kind of, like, loses her, her footing. Did you see that? Or maybe I, I just... I don't even know. Maybe I, I'm mistaking over here. Not entirely sure. Oh, boot to the face. There it is. Oh, oh gravity bash. Or what is it called? Gigantic break. Dang. Yeah, so far, Kefla Super Saiyan 2, I think, is the cooler, you know, transformation out of the other two. Time for my ultimate. Oh, the electricity with the sparking aura. And the red key. Here it is. Wait, no. This was the attack that she used against UI Sign Goku. Not the other one. <laughs> well, to be fair, to be fair, she used multiple attacks, right? I uh, remember the key orbs that she threw out and then Goku activated UI Sign to dodge everything last second. I think that was the other one I was trying to talk about. I don't know, it's been a while, all right? Look at that, so, so the sparking aura is green, but then she throws out the red key orb. The aesthetic going crazy. Full power. Yeah. As per usual, massive thanks to Rhymestyle for providing this clip. I'll be sure to have all the creators linked down below in the description. To be fair, there isn't that much hit footage out there. So this might be an extremely short video. Look, his combo string, he's fast, but not as fast as Jiren. <laughs> Jiren is like all in one pretty much. But I'm looking forward to his skill sets just because I, I think they're like extremely crazy. We have Key Clone. Wait, the Key Clone from the Tournament of Power. He's real. He's alive. Ooh, was that time skip? Wait, he just used one of his time stop abilities. Blue Kyle Ken, very accurate. Do we have the other world tournament though? <laughs> Make things canon into the anime. Assassin's Arts, very cool names for his supers. All right, let's see what we can do over here. I like the matchup though, going up against Super Saiyan 4, Goku. Oh, wait, Super Saiyan 4 might be stronger than Hit? Does that mean he's stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku? I don't know, let me know down below. Oh, oh, we're about to see a Blast 2 rush attack, but we got this melee instead. I like that. So based off the analog stick, I think Ramstyle is playing with the classic controls. As we all know, we can, you know, put the controller settings to standard or classic. Uh, you know, different inputs for different mechanics, stuff like that. Time skip, jump spike. Literally the same exact name as in Xenoverse 2. So is he going to stop time first? Is that what this is? Oh, yo, yo, the one, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Wait, I know that one. He did that against Vegeta. Yo, the one, two, three, fours. The hooks, the uppercuts. That was dope. Again with the melee clash. I'm liking the gameplay. Very top tier. Oh, this is the ultimate. Oh, oh, 
All right, we got the time stop dimension. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa, so he does the time stop Rasengan. Not going to lie, the first part of the animation definitely reminded me of the Dragon Ball Fighters ultimate attack for sure. But he ends it off with the time stop key blast. Ooh, there has to be a unique animation with Jiren because that did not work on Jiren. <laughs> I like that one. That, that, that had to have been Assassin's Art. Hmm, not sure to be honest. Does he literally summon out a clone? Like strata clone jutsu i don't think that's going to be the case at all it, it might be some type of move in regards to speed oh he's super perception rose goku's super perception i believe that's what it was no no he were oh the long range I, I think hit just revenge countered no no hit super perception countered rose goku's revenge counter that's what that was right. round two hit versus ui goku mui so hopefully we get to see some more of the blast ones if not uh we have even more footage of hit but it's going to be under training mode where we just witness some more of the supers and ultimates Bro's angry. is that what you think Mess around with it and find out. Did you just say fuck around and find out? <laughs> I think he did. He just said the that one meme. Mess around and find out. That was cool though. He did what was he doing? He was like gripping the air. He was mad for no reason. Oh nice. The UI dodges. Yeah, stand still and then you'll activate that with these. You see how he's just standing with one arm up? Like, is that all you got? He, he's doing the the Matrix Neo, you know? How he was just... He, he put one arm up and then just countered every single attack. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, yeah. The speed is too great for hit, though. I, I think it would have been cool if he had, like, some type of time stop abilities within his basic combo strings, but that would have been way too top tier and broken. So I understand why they didn't do that. It's just for some of the animations. For his supers. Oh, wait a minute. You can literally Sonic's way out of the time stop ability. No, I'm playing. <laughs> that wasn't even active. That's just the normal mechanic. But I always like to come up with crazy backstories. <laughs> uh, so I really want to know if the Assassin's Art is the actual, you know, like that key blast that he throws out, or if that's the animation one where he does like the, the side steps. Pure progress. I just realized. So he doesn't have the pure progress transformation. Yeah, this one has to be... Dude, dude, look at that. One, two, three, fours. And then the fifth punch. That one for sure is time skip jump spike. It has to be. Time prison, again, with that time rasen gun. Here it is. Oh, he countered it. He countered it. He has one centimeter left of health as well. Oh, the key clash ruined it. This one is going to be more of a training type of style gameplay. Massive thanks to Maru Haki. Comment down below your top five main characters. For me, so far, Jiren is one of them, for sure. And I think Hit might be the secondary character. I don't know, man. Those those two characters, Jiren and Hit, they seem extremely top tier, for sure. Absolutely crazy. Uh, combo strings, looking nice and fast. Can, can we witness Key Clone this time around? Please? <laughs> I'm sure we will. Usually with Maru Haki's type of uh, footage that we have here. Nice. Uh, I really like the after effects. How he throws it out. But behind the punch, behind the elbow, we have that crazy distort in time effect to it. Oh, his grab. First time witnessing the grab. Oh, into the Assassin's Arts. Again, I think that's Assassin's Arts. But to be honest, Key Clone Vera could be something similar to Wild Sense or After Image Strike. How you activate it and the opponent has to hit you before we can see what it actually does, right? Again, with Time Prison. Let's go. Dude, look at that. I like when he just slides all over the place. And then perish. 
really want to know if you use that against Jiren if we have this different animation. <laughs> I don't think so, but something interesting to think about. That was pretty much everything for the Universe 6 Warriors. Now we have the Universe 11 Warriors, also known as the Pride Troopers. I've actually seen this clip before. Same for the Topo and Jiren one. Uh, I just figured why not in include it in today's video just in case some of you guys missed out on it and just to get, you know, more of the Tournament Power Warriors in one video. So, Dispo is actually very fast and just a cool character alone. He has his Super Maximum Light Speed Mode for a Blast 1 Power Boost. I really do like that. I mean, it makes a lot more sense that way instead of him receiving an actual transformation. I've been seeing some comments a while ago saying that it would be cool. I even said this before as well uh, to see that as a transformation, but again, it just makes a lot more sense for it as a Blast 1. I mean, if they gave Vegeta his evolved form as a Blast 1, then definitely this was the right way to go about it, in my personal opinion. Now we have the big man himself, Topo! I do have to say, his God Destruction state is a lot cooler than his base form, but don't get me wrong. His skill palette, extremely unique, something that we haven't seen before. Justice, Pride Trooper Pose 1, Justice Flash, and Justice Tornado, as well as United, Justice Attack, or whatever his ultimate attack is called, Justice Stream, there it is. We have that vivid aura, you know, all the crazy fighting stances, but the God Destruction more, uh, form is just way superior. My personal opinion, especially, you know, the character physique, the model, uh, the Hakaishin aura, you know, the base aura that he produces. Only some characters get that. <laughs> he's just a very strong warrior. I think he's one of those where people aren't necessarily going to pick a lot. But at the same time, he might be like one of the stronger characters. Could be wrong about all that, but he did rival Blue Evolved Vegeta, you know what I'm saying? My justice encompasses awe. Yo! Bruh, you can't be saying that and then say justice no more and then activate God Destruction. Whatever he said, wasn't God Destruction supposed to be his last resort state? And then after he transformed into it, he said he can't resort to justice anymore. Like he has to win. <laughs> Bro's all talk but doesn't follow through. <laughs> I will destroy you. I mean, to be fair, you have to do that if you want to be God Destruction because he is the runner up after Belmod. Even though Jiren is a lot stronger than both Woyas, I'm pretty sure he is stronger than Belmod. Could be wrong. Uh, but he doesn't care about that title at all. <laughs> He's just doing his own thing, walking down his own path. Uh, we have the Hakai Aura right there. I guess it's kind of something similar to Explosive Wave. Destruction Flash, you know, with Hakai Shin power behind it. That Aura, top tier. And we have... What is that move called? Let's see, let's see... Sphere of Destruction. Imagine Jiren activating the God Destruction power. Obviously, he, you know, could learn it if he wants to. I mean, Topo learned it, Vegeta learned it in the DBS manga, so Jiren could easily learn it as well. So yeah, imagine with Jiren, his base form, or even full power state with the additional Hakai Shin power buff. That's just way too crazy. Strongest in the universe, stronger than Grand Prix, stronger than Zeno, probably. <laughs> I will end this no matter the cost. Destroy everything. Okay. Yeet. Woo. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, do you think we can clash with explosive wave attacks? Because I was about to say, imagine pulling off the anime accurate scene that Hakaishin attack from Topo versus Blue Vav Vegeta's God Final Flash or Final Explosion. That would be great to see, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Just because I don't think I've ever seen an explosive wave clashing with another ultimate attack. Look at that, meditation. Still don't know what that does. Um, it doesn't activate sparking mode, it doesn't give them additional power buffs. Uh, maybe actually grant some even more skill counts. I don't know. I have to go ahead and rewind that. So, Infinity Rush, top tier, you know, the eye glare attack. I like that animation as well, where he gets that red, you know, sinister look within his eyes. And then that speed. You see how fast he is? His basic combo string is a lot faster than Dispo. And Dispo is all about speed, man. <laughs> it's just crazy how Jiren is going to be my main character. 
<laughs> Day one? <laughs> hey, man, he, he has it all. The transformations, the overpowered attacks, the strength, the speed. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. He, he just completely decimated the opponent. He, he, he fell through the void right there. Uh, key pressure is an explosive wave's move. We saw the other two blast two attacks. We're about to see the ultimate right here. Heat break. I like this one. It's it's kind of like that force shield, uh, what he puts around the opponent, and it just it like melts the character. Like what what even is this? <laughs> it's like an explosion within the orb. Taking all that damage. Yo, something similar to what Android 17 did. Remember how he put the force shield around him and the opponent? And did that very devastating attack? Uh, this transformation, again, I, I talked about this a while ago. They definitely have to fix this. I'm assuming it will be fixed when the official game does drop tomorrow, mind you. So strength is absolute. Grants his own five different power buffs. Do you see that? Five different power buffs. Huh? His full power state is even better than his base form. Oh, I thought his base form was top tier, but no, now, well, it is still top tier, but now his full power is like even more top tier. It breaks the boundaries. The other two blast twos, uh, let's actually pay attention to the damage. Uh, let's see how much they do. To be fair, they probably do as much damage as other characters' ultimate attacks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Topo, get up. Get up. Let Jiren perform his ults. Here it is. Uh, we got that miss. Yeah, again, Jiren over here is not the best when it comes to aiming. He has all the other attributes, but his aim is horrible. And he missed that ultimate. Let's go! <laughs> oh, that did 15,000 damage. Dang. And that was over heat blasting. Oh yeah, something I mentioned before. He has two explosive waves. Uh, Keystorm and the blast two explosive waves. So it's just crazy how he has two different invasives technically. But to be fair, I know that you can use the Blast 1 while being attacked. I'm not sure if you can use the Key Blast or Blast 2 variation while being attacked. So that's something I have to look into. And we're about to get the ultimate attack right here. I believe he misses the first couple times and then we get the ultimate. But it's crazy how when you throw the opponent or just knock the opponent to an object, they just bounce off of it and take initial damage. <laughs> I saw one time where I think Goku was fighting someone. Knocked the opponent into the tournament power pillar and he just fell all the way down to the ground. <laughs> hey man, that was hilarious to me. Strength is justice. Strength is absolute. Moving forward to Anilaza. First time witnessing this character. The giant forms. I, I, I think I saw a clip on Twitter where this, or maybe it was a screenshot. Oh, ooh, ooh, he has the Janemba teleporting effects. Let's go! Nice! That was Warp Punch. I can put that together, you know, because all the different warps from the attack itself. Whoa, what the heck? Spread Energy Blast. Something similar to Super Boo's Human Extinction Attack. At least I think it looked something similar to that. You know, just how it goes up into the air and then strikes the opponent downward like artillery. Anyway, I saw a screenshot where there's like this full team of giant characters. It was pretty hilarious. Anilaza, Uzaru, Vegeta. I can't remember what it was exactly. Ooh, gigantic key blast. Now we have the MVP himself, the Tournament of Power winner, the very first victor of the stage or tournament. Android 17 from Super. Not a reskin to the Z variation. Completely different character. Well, let me rephrase that the same character from you know the anime but uh, you know different skill set different combo strings that's why i said a different character <laughs> anywho what was that his explosive wave or android barrier i think that's what it's called oh it's cool how this is a super attack instead of an ultimate attack because for xenoverse 2 and fighters they were both ultimates but spark and zero said nah we ain't going to follow the timeline. We're going to create our very own and create a brand new ultimate right here. This is the shield. This is the shield thing I was just talking about. La Sengan. Hey, yo, he is. Uh, what's the word? 
He's great at multitasking. Man's used two different supers at the same time. Energy Force Shields and La Sengan. Top tier Warrior. Uh, we don't see any other character use two attacks at the same time. Besides Goku, you know, instant transmission coming huh? He's like, that was like the only, only other time. Oh, yo, he has... What's that move called? Ah, the UI pressure palm attack where he throws his fist up into the air. And then that wind bullet appears. Soaring fist, soaring fist. Yeah, so that's his chargeable key blast attack. It's not a blast too, so that's, you know, just more up his sleeve. Very intense grab. Oh, yo, so he snap vanishes, go behind the character, twists him around, and then does a 360. Top tier. I've seen gameplay of UIA Sign and MUI Goku before. So, this isn't nothing necessarily too new, but again, just like the Pride Troopers, just want to include these characters in today's video to get, you know, more of the term of power theme. Even greater potential, I think that's what that was. Going up against Super Saiyan 4, Goku. Before it was Super Saiyan Blue versus Super Saiyan 4. But not no more. <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 is climbing up the ranks. Now going up against Ultra Instinct Sign Goku all by himself. Rapid consecutive energy punches. Into the waves. Yeah, they literally combined two, three different attacks into this one. Punches, the UI dodges, and Kamamaha. Like, what the heck? They definitely made that ultimate 10 out of 10 for sure. Transformation! Dragon Ball Super Manga stuff right here with the complete Gi. Again with the UI Soaring Fist. Oh, dude, even the animations change a bit for his combo strings. I don't necessarily like his stance too much, though. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, preference over here. It definitely suits the character, though, because Ultra Instinct, you know, how he doesn't necessarily care. What anybody thinks, he's just doing him. You know, he's confident, has his own power buff. I get it. Look at that. See, man, man's moves with the wind. You can't even tell. Look at that. The speed, too crazy. His charging stance is very epic, though. Do want to say that. Sparking aura going crazy. And boom. Once again, with the, with the dance, right? That whole grab is just a dance move. <laughs> I like how it, it kind of looks like he was going to the right, but then quickly goes back to the left, kind of breaking the opponent's ankles. And we have the burst! Woohoo! 